All right, everybody, welcome back to Calgary Barbell HQ. We are here to give our opinion and review on the Sabo Deadlift Heavy Duty. So the categories that we're going to cover with our review today are price, function, features, fit and comfort, and of course, style. First off, these shoes come in at $169.99 Canadian from innerstrengthproducts.ca. That's where I got my pair from. And they're a little on the, I would say, upper mid end of the price range. I think if you're looking at something like the Nike Romaleo 4s, those are costing upwards of 200, maybe even 240, depending on the colorway. So as far as lifting shoes go, they are more expensive than say a basic boxing shoe from Adidas or Nike, uh, which I think you can pick up for 70 or 90 bucks Canadian. So now when we start talking about the features of these shoes, we're looking at the outer being mostly made of what I believe is a synthetic leather, feeling kind of plasticky, not uh, fully leather, but that's gonna work better for some people. The other thing that I wanna point out right away that I'm a huge fan of is metal eyelets on every single lace hole. That's something that I think has been missing from previous Sabo designs, uh, sometimes to a fault where the version one deadlifts were actually tearing the eye holes. The next thing I'll talk about here are the straps. So there are two, there is the cross strap along the laces and there's this weird heel strap thing. Now this strap, I love, looks well, well constructed, well designed. It should be very durable, I haven't had any issues with it. But this, I feel like is a poor design choice. The strap is meant for when you're putting the shoes on, but unfortunately everything above the strap is made of this more flexible material. So as you're putting your shoe in, this tends to bunch up and go in behind your heel, which kind of defeats the purpose of why you would want this. You end up having to grab here anyways. Uh, kind of annoying, but I don't know, it, uh, it just seems like I missed the mark a little on that part. One other thing on straps and a difference between the Deadlift Pro and these is that the heavy duties do not have the upper strap along the top of the ankle where the heavy, or sorry, the Deadlift Pro's previous version, uh, they did have that. So one of the biggest sort of features of these shoes and one of the things that I like the most is that it has a very wide heel and a very wide toe. I could talk a little bit about why I like that so much in the next category, but I did want to point out big flat soles, uh, which I think is a big pro for this model. The last thing worth mentioning with these is that Sabo has opted for a denser, firmer insole for arch support. Now when we get to function of these shoes, I'm a big fan. Uh, I was a big fan of the Deadlift Pro, and these are a very, very similar shoe, like I said, other than the top strap and with a few additional features and what I think to be a better looking exterior. One of the biggest reasons I switched to the Sabo shoes in the first place was balance issues that I was having with really narrow shoes. So the width of the shoe itself really provides me a lot of balance and a lot of support. Uh, and that has been a big boon to my deadlifting. I feel very solid, very sturdy, and uh, yeah, really enjoy deadlifting in these shoes overall. Another thing that's been a big talking point with the Deadlift Pro uh, and subsequently the Heavy Duty has been the presence or absence of the heel. Now, Sabo actually dissected the sole of one of their shoes on their Instagram and you can very clearly see here, there is no heel. Others have said that, oh, the heel is in the insole. Uh, I'm just not sure, I've never felt that. I know there are some lifters who swear that this has thrown them off and they greatly dislike the shoe because of this invisible, maybe one millimeter compressible heel, if it exists, but I have not run into that problem, nor do I feel that. So uh, take with that what you will. The last thing I'm gonna mention is that I believe the removal of the top strap was pretty intentional, uh, a design choice. A lot of lifters have started doing three lift in their deadlift pros. And I think that the removal of that strap allows lifters a little bit more forward shin movement, a little bit more ankle flexion. Um, so hopefully it's a little more comfortable to squat in should you choose to do that in these. In terms of the fit and comfort, I got these in the exact same size as my Deadlift Pros, a size 45 Euro. I'm a size 12 conventionally in US sizes, and I found these to be slightly tighter, slightly stiffer, and a little bit uncomfortable for the first three to four wears. 
Beyond that, I've found them to be very comfortable and I feel they have broken in, but be aware there may be a period of breaking in if you choose to go with these shoes. In terms of style, well, that's why I wanted these. They're sleek, they're all black. Uh, I, I love the way they look. There are two distinct patterns uh, of black, which is barely noticeable, but uh, just the fact that they're not mesh, uh, that they're not uh, a couple of colors that kind of, I don't know, I, I was not a huge fan of the way these look, but very much more a fan of the way these look. The only thing that I wish Sabo might consider doing differently is writing the name of the shoe right there. On the deadlift pros, it says deadlift on the strap. On the good lifts, it says good lift on the side of the shoe. Maybe put that on the inside and just leave the outside this nice, sleek, smooth black, and uh, you know we can know what shoes we're wearing from ordering them. In short, I would recommend these. These will be my deadlift shoe of choice for the foreseeable future. Let me know in the comments below if you have these shoes, what your thoughts are, and we'll see you in the next one.